Hello, Peterson Hospice families. My name is Corey Edmondson, President and CEO of Peterson Health. COVID-19 has caused us to do a few things differently this year, and one being is doing our memorial service through video. It's also a little bit personal to me as well. My dad passed away just a couple of weeks ago, and he too was on hospice. It was a difficult time. I understand where you are. Our hospice team is here for you. They're dedicated and want to help. Hi, my name is Amy Ives. I am the Director for Home-Based Services for Peterson Health. It is my honor today to welcome you to Peterson Hospice's annual memorial service. Our service looks much different this year due to the need for social distancing and COVID-19 restrictions. As we are unable to hold an in-person event at this time, we wanted to send you a short message to remind you that we are holding you all close to our hearts, our thoughts, and our prayers. Our memorial service is held every year for the family members and the friends of the patients we have cared for over the past year that have passed away. Today, our hospice team gathers as we honor your loved ones and the families that have cared for them. We celebrate their lives and we continue to remember them. It has been our privilege to care for them and to continue to care for the families who love them. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of the winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, in the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us. As we remember them. Hi, my name is Susan Liljestrand. I'm one of the chaplains here for Peterson Hospice. And I wanted to share um, some thoughts with you this morning. Over the generations, people have sought tangible ways in which to remember significant persons or events. We have created tangible objects or ceremonies or rituals in order to express the intangible feelings that we have, love, respect, honor, and the such. We've built statues, monuments, and simple headstones to remember tragic events that have taken innocent lives, people that have taken a stand for freedom, or loved ones that have been such an integral part of our lives. People of various religions gather at specific times during the year to share meals, participate in rituals, or pray together as a way of remembering the times and ways that God has saved God's people and worked in their lives. During times of grief and remembrance of loved ones, many of us find and hold on to photographs, pieces of clothing, or objects that our loved ones used daily as a way of remembering them and keeping them near even when we can no longer touch them, see them, or hear them. Today, we light candles as a tangible means of remembering honoring, and showing our love for each of the persons that we have had the privilege of serving on hospice, as well as you, their caregivers and loved ones. Please know that each of them brought a special light into our lives 
that will not be forgotten. And we are grateful. I invite you to take a moment to pray with me. Holy and gracious God, support us all the day long of this troubled and joy-filled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and a peace at the last. Comforting spirit, stand by those who sorrow, that as they lean on your strength, they may be upheld and nurtured with your love. Amen. We light these five candles in honor of our loved ones, one for our grief, one for our courage, one for our memories, one for our love, and one for our hope. The first candle represents our grief. The pain of losing you is intense. It reminds us of the depth of our love for you. The second candle represents our courage. The courage to confront sorrow, to comfort each other, to change our lives. The third candle we light in your memory. We remember the times we laughed, the times we cried, the caring and joy you gave us. The fourth candle we light for our love. As we enter the holiday season, we cherish the special place in our hearts that will always be reserved for you. We thank you for the gift your living brought each of us. We love you. The fifth candle we light for hope. The hope that you live on through us, never to be erased from memory that your lives continue to make a difference in the world. We love you, we remember you. As this service comes to an end, I offer this benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you and give you peace, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for allowing us the honor to serve you and your families.